girl Kels and welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can tell by the title, I am going to be talking to you about some skincare products that I use that have been really working for me. And anyway, so yeah, I'm here to talk to you guys about skincare products that have been really working for me and different things that I've put into my routine that have been really working for me. So yeah, let's just get started. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is washing our face. My stuff to wash my face is in the shower and I don't feel like going to get it because that's where I clean my face. So you can, I will link everything down below for you guys so you guys can purchase it or go check it out. There's also a thread that explains all of this on my Twitter, um, so make sure you are following me on Twitter for more tips and tricks. But anyways, so I wash my face twice in the shower. Um, I did read somewhere that a lot of the Victoria's Secret models do this, where they do a double wash. So the first time, the first cleanser that I use on my skin is the St. Ives Cleansing Stick. It is the blue one. Um, I will link it down below for you guys. All the products I'm gonna link down below, by the way. Um, so I use the cleansing stick. I put it, you know, I apply it to my face. I use my hands, I lather it, and then I take one of the facial buffs, which I got from Target from the Up and Up brand, but I, I don't know if they sell them in Walmart or anything. I'm pretty sure they do. But um, I use that with the soap from the cleansing stick and it gently exfoliates my skin. Obviously, the more pressure you apply, the more intense of an exfoliation you're gonna get. But I just really lightly go over my face and everything. Um, and then I go in with my African Black Soap, which the original one I used from this isn't by the brand Shea Moisture. I get it from a, um, <coughs> excuse me. I get it from a like family owned store where they make everything by hand and it's actually brown and not black, which I found that one works a lot better for me. It, it works faster, but the Shea Moisture one does the exact same thing. So like, don't be, <laughs> don't be scared or anything. The thing that we forget about with our skin is we want results like right away, but things like this take time for the products to really sink in your skin and your skin to just kind of switch to where it's like oh okay like and you're it takes time okay to clear up your skin so just give yourself some time you know sit back relax you know but um yes yeah, so I use the African black soap by Shea Moisture and I use that to really um, like do more of the acne treatment I use the cleansing stick because it really unclogs my pores like really really well and then the African black soap is more of to treat my acne. So then when I get out of the shower, <laughs> I will, you can see my twin is right over here, but we're wearing spooky Maleficent horns in this one because it's spooky season, so. Anyway, so what I go in with is the Pixie Glow Tonic. It has 5% glycolic acid and it's an exfoliating toner. So we are doing a bit of exfoliating um, I exfoliate more often just because I do have texture on my skin. I do have like little bumps that aren't acne plus acne. I have both. I just have texture on my skin. So if you are one of those people, um, exfoliating is the key. I used about this product is, it is very, very moisturizing. It doesn't dry out your skin because it doesn't have alcohol in it. What I've noticed about other toners is that they do contain alcohol, so they do really dry out your skin. And you definitely feel the difference between the products. But yes, I do use Pixie a lot. Their products are absolutely amazing for skincare. But um, yes, I go in and I tone my skin with the Glow Tonic. This is the time where I will go in and I will treat my acne. The products that I use to go in and treat my acne are the, this is the Up and Up brand. It is the Maximum Strength 10% Benzoyl Peroxide Gel. And it says to compare it to Clean and Clear Persa Gel, which I don't have, but I do have the Clean and Clear Spot Treatment. These two products together, wow. I don't even wear foundation anymore, you guys. The only time that I really wear even makeup in general, like even concealer, is if like I'm going to work. And I only put it under my eyes. I don't put anything 
on the rest of my face. Basically what I do is I just take the benzoyl peroxide first, I take that all over my face to treat and prevent, and then I take the acne spot treatment, which I actually carry this around with me because it the bottle says to use it one to three times a day. The more times I use it, the faster my acne goes away. So now I'm gonna talk to you guys about moisturizing. And then I use the Pixi H2O Skin Drink. This is a like more of a gel. This really, really does hydrate my skin. I've noticed it's just, all of the Pixi products really leave your skin glowing and it's insane. I don't know what they put in them, but it's amazing and keep doing it because I'm going to continue to buy these products because they're amazing. So the next two things I apply are vitamin E oil and tea tree oil. I take literally a drop of each of these, mix them in my hand, and I pat them on my face um, just for a little bit of extra moisture and they both treat acne scars. So I'm treating and preventing at the same time while getting moisturized. So it's like, you're really multitasking. Okay, and the final product I use is the Witch Hazel Rose Petal Facial Mist. Guys, this is so amazing. <laughs> it gives you that extra glow and that extra moisture. And I'm all about moisture, which is actually a little bit weird because I do have combination skin, but I've gotten my, my the oiliness of my skin down to a T. Like, I know my skin. And I don't over moisturize and I don't under moisturize. I do just enough to a point where the oiliness is just where it needs to be, you know what I mean? This spray is just absolute, first of all, it smells good. It makes your skin glow, you look poppin', and it's just like 10 out of 10. It's very refreshing, it softens your skin, gives you a glow. It's just really good. I really recommend this. This brand in general, they have really good products. But um, it also cleanses and tones at the same time, so. We're all about multitasking here. Now my next tip, which I'm sure you have all heard a thousand times before, is to drink water. Now water is not gonna solve all your problems. You can't just drink water and not clean your face or do anything to your face and expect it to clear up. That's not how it works. You gotta put in the work. Just like you want that booty, you want those hips, you wanna be thick, you gotta put in the work. Eating's just not gonna cut it. I. I'm learning that the hard way. But um, I drink a lot of water. This, <laughs> this water bottle is 24 ounces. I drink at least two of these a day. So that's 48 ounces a day. I am i don't remember how many you're supposed to have in one day. I really don't remember. I'll let you know though. Like I'll put it somewhere here. But I do drink a lot of water. I drink water with all of my meals. It's rare. I don't drink soda at all. I have never in my life ever drank soda. Don't know what it tastes like. Don't care to know what it tastes like. It's not good for you, so I don't care. I literally have drink... Literally all I drink my entire 18 years of life is water, juice, and milk. That's it. And lately I haven't even been drinking any juice because I finished it. But I... It's just like... It's just, water is really your best friend. It is. You just need to drink more water, trust me. I recommend you get a... You can get a bottle like this. This is 24 ounces. It's easy to carry. It can fit in your book bag. You can. It has a little handle. Fits perfectly in the side pocket of your book bag. It fits in my purses, my small ones and my big ones. Obviously not like um, teeny tiny one. But it fits in your purses, fits in your book bag. Fill it up with water. You can even do infused water. You can do lemon, strawberry, mint, cucumber. I used to do them, but I just need to buy more fruit and stuff. And make sure you are drinking a lot of water. I, I honestly can't even stress it enough. My friends will ask me, like, oh, how is your skin so clear? How are you doing that? Like, what are your secrets? And I'm like, girl, get a skincare routine and drink water water like i honestly drink so much water like it's probably insane i drink it with all my meals so i suggest you substitute soda with water okay i haven't cut out the caffeine in terms of coffee yet because i am a latina and asking me not to drink coffee is a lot 
that does a lot to ask me because I am a Latina, I'm Puerto Rican, and asking me to not drink coffee is like a little bit much. But I do drink tea as well. So I feel like I'm good, you know? That's just the one thing that I don't know if I'll ever be able to cut out. It's my brutelo, my cafe brutelo. It has my heart. So I'm Puerto Rican, I don't think I can cut that out. But I will try. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, substitute soda for water. If you go out to eat and they say, oh, what can I get you to drink? Water. If you're eating dinner at home, oh, you look through your fridge, mm -mm -mm -mm. water. But anyway, yes, drink more water. H2O is your friend. Drink more water, girl.